Alrighty, so we're gonna go fill our garden beds up today. And I'll show you how I do that, okay? Might not be a very long video, we'll see. <laughs> so I'll just show you real fast. Quick little video here today. So what I do is I get cardboard and I fill it with cardboard at the bottom. A lot of cardboard. Fill it up really good with cardboard, okay? Make a good two inches of cardboard and then I take sticks and I cut them up, you know, chop them up where they lay flat and then I put them in the flower bed and cover them with dirt. So I'll just do the small flower bed to show you. It helps fill it up, you know, because that's a whole lot of dirt and plants actually don't um, have the, that deep of roots. They don't really need more than, you know, like a, about 10 inches. This is more than 10 inches. So, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so we're going to put cardboard in the bottom. Make sure you get the plastic tape off. So, it doesn't have plastic tape all over it. Put a good layer as much as you want, really. So. Windy. ground well not raised beds basically raised beds but I don't know what they're called they sink them in the ground that's what I did I dug out all the dirt and uh, they're my wicking beds and I made over that way wicking beds where I dug all the dirt out and I filled it in with um, drainage piping so I can water underground so it wicks up anyways after I did that I put sticks and cardboard and and you want, um, if you have weeds, put weeds down and then put your dirt on and that's it. So that's what it looks like before. I'm going to go uh, mow some weeds down here and then put them in there and then put the dirt on top. But that's a little short on how you fill your raised garden beds. Okay. All right, so I've been pounding all these stakes in the ground to I'm fencing in this garden because I have my ducks and my dogs are, are gonna mess up my vegetable garden here. 
So we're gonna fence it in. I got pound these stakes in the ground. I got one started. So I have I, um, this old iron pole I use. And then I hold it between my legs and I pound it in where I have Sean hold it for me. But, so, I got it started here. almost done. Can you come hold it for me? <coughs> and make sure it's straight. There. Is that good? I guess. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. Do we have two more laying around? Probably not. I got all six posts in the ground. Sean still says his shoulder hurts, so they have him holding it for me while I get get going. So here, got that, that. We're going around here. We're gonna make this all look nice. It looks. I think I get this back down on the ground, but um, yeah, I got it. Got the beds going in there. We got more. I have to fill this one still. We put a fence up and then put a gate right here, and then that way the dogs won't get in. Look at, look at the dogs already did that. See, gotta get these plants in the ground. But that way the dogs won't get in here. So that's how you fill raised garden beds and put in T posts. <laughs> they have what? They have T post things with the with the top uh, um, welded on, and then you go up and down like that. But I find that heavier. I like going sideways like that. So that's what I do. Anyways, I'm gonna put buy two more. I'm too short. Two, no, I'm not too short. Life is too short. <laughs> you know the, the rapper? Anyways. Um, yeah, I am two poles short and we'll get those in the ground tomorrow. I'm going to have Sean pick them up for me. And um, uh, I'm gonna use a cattle panel, I think, for a gate. That's what I'll do. So, and have him pick up fencing for me. 
They're just doing that snow bank and sand bank fencing. It's cheap, the cheapest, and it works. So that's what we're doing. I'll just talk to you later. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace. <laughs>